Fire dampers are a critical component of fire safety in buildings. They are thermally activated devices used where ducting passes through fire barriers to close off the opening to stop fire and hot gas leakage. But how do they work? And what standards do they need to meet in Australia? Over the last 30 years, intumescent fire dampers in Australia have become a respected alternative to conventional mechanical curtain or blade type fire dampers. It is important to note that intumescent fire dampers are ducted in contrast to fire rated air transfer grills that use similar intumescent technology which are unducted. Fire rated air transfer grills have very different fire testing requirements and performance criteria and we will cover these in our next Fire Smart episode. So what is this intumescent technology and how is it used in ducted fire dampers? An intumescent substance is one that swells when exposed to heat, resulting in an increase in volume and a decrease in density. In intumescent fire dampers, the material is embedded inside the slats and expands when exposed to high temperatures, closing off the opening and maintaining fire compartmentalization. This gives occupants more time to evacuate and emergency responders more time to act. Now that we understand how intumescent fire dampers stop fire from spreading, it is important to know the relevant standards and fire testing methods. In Australia, fire dampers must comply with the following relevant standards. AS 1682 Part 1, Fire, Smoke and Air Dampers. Specifications, AS 1668 Part 2, Installation Standards for Fire Dampers ASN ZS 1668 Part 1 The Use of Ventilation and Air Conditioning in Buildings AS 1851 Maintenance Standards for Ongoing Inspection and Testing AS 1530 Part 4 2014 This covers the fire and gas leakage testing methods. AS 1682 Part 1 covers the definitions of what a fire and smoke damper is and the different types recognised – mechanical fire damper, intumescent fire damper and ceiling fire dampers. AS 1682 Part 2 covers the installation requirements for fire and smoke dampers. As written in Section 6.1, installation shall be in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions, an assessment, test report or allowable installation variation in AS 1682 Part 1. Therefore, in today's market, the design and manufacturer are based on proprietary makes and models, along with their specific fire-tested system details. Section 7.6 covers labelling and states that dampers shall be permanently, legibly and indelibly marked by means of durable label and should be located so it can be easily read during regular maintenance inspections. Additionally, convenient access shall be provided for commissioning and maintenance. Trafalgar offer a patented fire duct access panel system for ducts protected with fire wrap and fire spray systems. Another important aspect of installation is the use of breakaway joints when attaching ducted fire dampers to ductwork. The purpose of breakaway joints is to allow metal ducting to detach from the fire damper assembly during a fully developed fire, preventing the damper from being pulled out of the opening. There are several recommended methods in AS 1682 on how to achieve this and ensure compliance. These guidelines are crucial for maintaining the integrity of the fire barrier and the performance of the ducted fire damper. Commissioning is the final phase of inspection and testing. It's critical to ensure that this step is done correctly the first time. Proper commissioning verifies that all fire dampers are installed and functioning as intended, which is essential for compliance and safety. Now on to AS 1530 Part 4 2014, which covers fire and gas leakage testing methods. An FRL is determined from a fire test to AS 1530 Part 4 2014, which covers a system's structural adequacy, integrity and insulation ratings. Structural adequacy. Ducted fire dampers are non-structural and the wall must be designed to not impose structural loads onto the fire damper itself. This often means lintel are required. 
Integrity for a ducted fire damper refers to its ability to close during a fire and restrict the leakage of hot gases below a predetermined threshold. Insulation refers to the temperature rise criteria on the non-exposed side of the fire barrier, measured around the perimeter of the fire, damper opening, and on the duct itself. However, only in cases where duct-to-duct -duct dampers have two meters of duct on both sides of the wall is an insulation criteria not required. In all other instances, insulation must be the same as the fire barrier it is mounted to. Even in cases where there is a duct to grill scenario, the grill side of the wall needs an insulation criteria. Ducted fire dampers are now required to go through a new fire testing method, a dynamic fire and hot gas leakage test. It measures hot gas leakage through the damper after closure for the full duration of the FRL and the closed damper must meet acceptable hot gas leakage criteria to achieve an FRL. This method was introduced as many conventional Australian and New Zealand mechanical fire dampers, when closed, have been found to leave excessive gaps that allow hot smoke leakage. In some scenarios, this can be hazardous, even when the damper is closed correctly. For intumescent dampers, however, an intumescent char forms an insulating layer unlike steel blades or curtain which provide no insulation or radiant heat protection of the adjoining space. Trafalgar Fire have partnered with Lorient, taking intumescent fire dampers in Australia to the next level. With over 40 years of expertise, Lorient fire dampers offer superior performance and compliance to all relevant standards. Backed by Trafalgar Fire's industry-leading expertise and domestic manufacturing capabilities, the range is further elevated with. Custom manufactured damper casings designed and built by Trafalgar for a perfect fit. Patent pending, user-friendly mounting flanges engineered for easy installation. Comprehensive technical support from Trafalgar's expert team. Trafalgar offers ducted fire damper systems for Ceilings with our spigot and plenum boxes meeting FRL and RASF criteria. Walls and shafts in casings in either square, rectangular or circular assemblies. Special fire rated shafts with our angle free systems. And we also offer unducted air transfer grills for ceilings, walls, shafts and fire doors, which we will talk about in our next Fire Smart episode. Ensure your building meets the highest fire safety standards. Use our system selector to choose the right ducted fire damper system for your project. Visit Trafalgar Fire today.